So we got to cover this. Uh, I already told Adam I'm doing this. But, oh, I don't uh, know about this. This uh, is news to me. I didn't consent. You don't have to fucking consent. Let me it. know. So basically... Uh, uh, is it about rape again? No. So uh, we're all we're all aware of the character, uh, or not character, the guy who's come on the show who died tragically, <laughs> slipping on a banana peel. Who, okay. Who uh, we stopped mentioning and like you know, out of reverence for the dead. Yeah. Right. Because he passed away. So there's this other guy, uh, <laughs> Seth Cockfield, who was offended by the character, uh. and that's why uh, you know I mean it's not why, but it was sort of a coincidence that's. Seth had a meltdown about it, and then uh, Seth uh-huh. Cockfield died, and we stopped um, allowing Seth Dickfield to bully Seth Cockfield <laughs> via the magic of theater. Right, right, right. Uh, oh, so, I didn't get it. Seth. Oh, so Dickfield was bullying Cockfield. Yeah, it wasn't me. I see. <laughs> okay. It was the guy. It was the human, the real human being, Seth now, Dickfield. You know, my favorite dead. movie of all time is Who Framed Roger Rabbit. And mm-hmm. yeah. Roger Rabbit is chained to Eddie Valiant. They're handcuffed together for about mm-hmm. an hour. Yeah. And then they're in that back room in the bar, and uh, Eddie think- finally Eddie finds a hacksaw, and he starts hacking through the handcuffs. And while he's doing that, Roger Rabbit just slips out of the handcuffs, and he like starts watching him. Oh, and yeah. And Eddie says, you mean to tell me you could have taken those off at any time? And he goes, no, only when it was funny. <laughs> and I sort of live by that code <laughs> that oh, anything man. can be justified if it's funny. <laughs> and so uh, I'm not responsible for hurting Seth's feelings. And he's a bad guy. But uh, <laughs> what do you mean? I thought you said you had nothing against him. I don't have anything against him. I mean, I'm just saying objectively he's a bad guy. <laughs> God, uh, that's even better. Yeah, he's claiming it's objective, <laughs> <laughs> but there's like there's like a scientific like, unit of facts. measurement. Yeah. It's not that he's petty, and yeah. anyone who annoys him a little bit, he goes way too hard at them. Who me? Yeah. Who who else have I gone way too hard at? Anyone that annoys you on the internet. I, I feel like go, on the internet go. you like to just. No, there's people I like make fun of. I think Seth's like a great character, and he just doesn't realize that. Anyhow, he is. the point is, I wouldn't bring him up, but sure. uh, Seth rejoined Facebook to uh, complain about me. Oh, really? And clear the air. And uh, I think, you know, it's... No, <laughs> hold on. This is like... It's, Adam's shaking his head in protest. He he posted this because he... And I, I agree with him. Yeah. You know, I, like, I have been mean to him. So I think it's like only fair. Okay, okay, okay. That I like let people whose only exposure to Seth uh, hear what Seth has to say in, in his own, character in his own defense. Okay. Um, and yeah. So Seth posted this. Yeah. Don't do. You're you're definitely not going to do the voice. What do you mean? Why well, it's in Seth's words? Why would I not? <laughs> okay. Do the voice. Okay. <laughs> Seth wrote, uh, "Hi, I'm not back." <laughs> I just wanted to share this and then bounce back into the ether sometime before Monday. This tweet is an old tweet of mine, which I tweeted in a rage one day in the spring of 2015, right around noon, most probably after reading about yet another atrocity portrayed by some white cop or politician or rapist. Adam, you look this, please. I've, I've, if it's really going to bother you that much, I, I'll tell you, there's seven more paragraphs. <laughs> Just continue. And we're only Smart. halfway through the first We already one. started. There's no, yeah, there's no going back. Uh, well, there's, yeah, if you don't want to be a part of this, I guess. If you're such good friends with Seth, <laughs> Not that you don't want, Seth. you don't want uh, me to just, uh, let so- Seth speak for himself here. This uh, is a recording you're playing, right, of yeah, Seth yeah, reading yeah. his I, post. Yeah, play the recording. He went live on Facebook Live. Uh, finish the video. I don't know. Well, if, if, if you're gonna have a problem. Continue. No, it's it's, you already said, yeah, I guess. I guess I'm just a big bully. <laughs> I guess everybody just thinks I'm just a fucking asshole because I'm trying to let Seth defend himself to the, to the come town. You know what? Fans. You're right. Let let Seth finish. You're right. You're right. We're being the bullies. We're trying to stifle Seth's voice. Let him. Let's hear what he had to say. Anyhow, he says this is a this is a tweet he tweeted in a rage after an atrocity uh, portrayed by. A white by cop. By, by white cop or politician or rapist. Right. Um, 
The tweet got no likes or retweets at the time, which was fine. I didn't expect it to. I just wanted to get it off my chest. If that makes you feel uncomfortable, I get that, and I'm happy to discuss it. And then he's included the tweet, which uh, was terrible. Tweet? Well, the tweet is, here's Seth, and he says, White people will one day go extinct, and I cannot wait. New power structure, please. <laughs> He wants himself to go yeah, extinct. Yeah. Well, anyhow. So, that's the tweet he included. And then he what said, do you mean you can't wait? You are white. Yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. He explains it further. Okay, um, okay, okay. Um, I'm, sorry, then he I'm says, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, he says, Earlier this summer, a certain comedian popular on Twitter, whom I will refer to as X, X. which uh, is that's me. That's cool. Nicholas X. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's cool. I love it. That's, that's a awesome. cool nickname. Yeah. Thank you, Seth. Um, <laughs> Just that's why you don't understand short nicknames. Of Vin Diesel. X is a tight nickname yeah, for it. It's yeah. nowhere near as good as Seth Dickfield, though. No, Dickfield's great. If he if he was like, earlier this summer, a certain comedian popular on Twitter, who I'm going to refer to as Nick Dickface, <laughs> I would have laughed. That would have really been, good. Yeah. That would have been funny. But he that, was a, that was a blown opportunity. He yeah. gave you instead a really cool punk rock name. Yeah. Dick Cuntlin. As X. Well, punk rock names are all like... Uh, like uh, your first name is literally one David letter. Murder, like Jonathan Trash, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like yeah, garbage, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike, yeah, Johnny Rotten, Mike <laughs> Snot, fucking pussy. Yeah. I'm in a hardcore Infected band. Asshole. I'm Johnny Snot ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Johnny. I'm Johnny Pus Taint. Yeah. Um. So okay. So earlier this your summer, the first name is literally one letter away from Dick. Yeah, you yeah. Know? Right. <laughs> like, you can have call me Dick Mo. That'd have been funny. Dick Mo. Yeah. Have been, well, it would have been funnier if he called me like Nick Dickface or Nick <laughs> Dick Fag. You know, like yeah, where yeah, he yeah. just <laughs> just like you know didn't put any effort into of it. Like well, I didn't with the cockfield. Nick Mold Dick would have been yeah, great. yeah. That would have been funny, but he went with X. So. Sorry, now I'm uh, now an X-Man. X. Now I'm a fucking mutant that <laughs> can read X. people's minds. <laughs> this is tight. Uh, the only white guy that looks good bald and handicapped. That's true, that's a good combo. Um, okay. Uh, earlier this summer, there. a certain comedian popular on Twitter, who I'm going to refer to as X, someone whom I'm not... I don't... Is that... That's not... Whom is possessive, right? No, it's it's, it's the objective. Yeah. Not the subject. Someone, in the sense. so but this isn't correct usage. Someone whom I'm not ap- amicable with in the least. I don't think it's right. Someone who? Yeah. I don't know. Someone who? Yeah, because you are the subject of the sentence. Yeah, I don't yeah, fucking yeah. know, dude. I'm dumb. Also, thought it'd be funny to create a character based on me for his podcast. This was completely unprovoked. The character is a weak, submissive, social justice warrior <laughs> type. <laughs> who overuses words like woke and is generally obsessed with political correctness. <laughs> The character's name is Seth Dickfield, which, uh, side note, again, Seth is a real, Seth Dickfield yeah. is a real person. It's pretty insensitive, <laughs> this all guy who him. died. Yeah, we've all seen him, we've all looked at him. Actually, uh, I don't know, have I been the real? And yeah, honestly, so. Seth, for you to you say that Seth once. Dickfield isn't yeah. real, uh, considering he died at Auschwitz, in a way that kind of makes you a Holocaust denier. <laughs> <laughs> so, Seth Cockfield, Holocaust denier, jeez. All right, uh, getting back to the, uh, the, the note. Uh, seriously, he's not even trying to hide the fact. Um, he's not even trying to hide the fact that the character is based on me. It's fucking weird to say the least. I even talked to this dude in over a year. Uh, this is the best part of the whole thing. I'm listening. Last time I talked to him, he was at an open mic where he got upset with me because I wouldn't budge on my "I don't like the N word" and don't think white people should ever say it stance. <laughs> He got mad because he thought his logic was sound. To be care. fair, that is a hilarious. <laughs> Wait, that, oh, is that the didn't best. happen. Right, right. That, that didn't right. fucking happen. Best. I wouldn't argue with Seth about. That's so good. That yeah. is the best. And he's like, last time I. Sorry, saw this guy, I don't like a, the yeah. N word. He was stomping his feet and demanding to use the N word in the open mic. And Let, me like, yeah. Let me say it. Let me say it. Let me say it, Seth. <laughs> yeah. I'm anti-rape no. and anti-Edward, and I'm never changing that. Dude, yeah. the idea of just wanting to say the ed- the f- a person that would argue at length that they should say it, but wouldn't say yeah, it yeah. to be that stupid. Right? Yeah. Also, like, oh my that God. I'm arguing with Seth, and, and that death, that did like, not Come happen. On, Seth, of course not. It did not. He <laughs> no, made it. It up. absolutely didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> the last argument I got in. <laughs> He, he was stopping you from saying the N word. <laughs> I bravely stopped him. Oh my god. Oh boy, what a god. fucking so hero. Oh what a hero. He goes, well, X wanted to show Seth his followers rules. 
that his character was based on a real person, so he scoured my actual Twitter feed for anything that might resemble uh, his Seth Dickfield character, and he found one, the one I've uploaded here. He tweeted it, and his followers went apeshit. Um, I tweeted it without context. I just retweeted you saying a thing, which... You knew what you were doing. I right? knew what I was doing. Just, <laughs> yeah. you knew but I knew that it was that very funny what I knew said. it was fucking funny. I yeah. knew it was like, people are yeah. going to laugh at him for being this much of a fucking idiot. But I didn't need to be like, you know, hey, bully this guy or hear this why this is dumb. It stays right. at face value. It's a it fucking really dumb thing to write. So the tweet immediately started making the rounds with the most depressing parts of Twitter. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I guess the least depressing part of Twitter is uh, tweeting at uh, Talib Kweli all day long. <laughs> If I, yeah. <laughs> Don't let them get you, Talib. <laughs> That's the least He's also depressing part. Ve- Talib very, uh, very for women's rights. Yeah, yeah. he really wants women to have yeah. birth control. Um, uh, the worst people in the world <laughs> relish that X's character was based on someone so real and so liberal, <laughs> and so they made it their business to keep a stream of daily hatred popping up in my notifications. It has been shared more times than I can count. <laughs> It's like, well, that's the thing about Twitter, Seth. It tells you exactly how many yeah. times something's been shared. Seth can count to <laughs> <Yeah>. 13. <laughs> it's been shared more times than I'm capable of reading a number off a screen. <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, I'm semi-famous <laughs> exactly. in the Breitbart world for believing that white supremacy is real should be dismantled no. and meaning it. <laughs> Yeah, that's not what you said, Seth. It's not at all. You said white people should go extinct. <laughs> and then the response from the majority of the people who responded to that tweet was like, doesn't this guy know he's white? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah that's yeah. why it's yeah. funny. That's, that's the funniest thing. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's why it's old, funny. That's the, it's yeah, a absolutely. white person saying white people yeah, should yeah, go yeah. extinct. No, but he can't like understand the fact that, like, yeah, p- people agree with you there's racism. Yeah. There's plenty of racism. You're a fucking laughing stock. Yeah, I don't want to die. <laughs> that's my biggest yeah. problem. I would go extinct <laughs> under that. This line's good. Because of my tweet, I must be a cuck old or gay or both. (laughs) You're a gay cuck. You brought the accent back. Someone's fucking your husband. (laughs) No matter what I am, they really want me to kill myself. Oh. Jesus. Here's the thing. is like they are telling him to kill himself, but it's in the context of him saying white people should go extinct. Yeah, speed it up. Yeah, people are like, can we start with you? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Although I'm sure horrific parts of the internet did get a hold of that. I don't know. It's did Gavin, like Gavin, Gavin McInnes, Gavin McInnes yeah. retweeted it. And one, that's of the, like, one of the worst. Yeah, so he spread yeah. it. So he's like, now it's heads. the only tweet of mine being passed around exclusively by angry white supremacists. So, and like, I love that through all of this, he's sort of kind of angry that he didn't go viral under his own terms. Yeah. Like, what he really wanted to go viral for is like... People being a, lo- being a oh, woke wow. hero. This white guy that wants to die. A good what point. a fucking hero. <laughs> That's how he thought it would be. Um, you showed him. Exclusively by angry white supremacists. I refuse to refer to them as alt right, as I see the entire right wing world as one big happy exclusive family with some uncles and cousins and a little more vocal and honest than the others. And also, by the way, Seth is an admitted former white supremacist. I don't know if yeah, you yeah, know, I remember. Yeah, he, I read that post. Yeah, he had a post on Facebook like a year and a half ago that was like, Listen up, gang. I used to be a white supremacist. I read a bunch of racist literature. And my friend what? Got, yeah, he was a Nazi. Seth was like an actual Nazi at one point. Shut, shut the fuck but up. The no, point of it was to say that like you can change. Yeah. And you can get woke. You can change. Yeah, yeah. That That's was the like thing, the point like, of the post. Yeah, Seth, you know, a lot of us didn't have to go through that process. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? No, I mean, that's crazy, though. Yeah. Was that real or was he, like, doing it up? For I mean, the... I think no, that is real. <clears throat> I th- you don't think it's real? Uh, no, I think it's real. Because Seth was also, in, like, 2007, like, a total libertarian. libertarian yeah. And, like, uh. fuck, fuck you. If you, don't, if you can't make what switched him is the idea that he should get health care for free. It was all about, initially, him getting shit for free. You know, about how he deserves things for free. And that's what brought him over into yeah. being a, <laughs> a progressive. Um, now, and then also he has to be cool. Like, he can't like yeah. not be interpreted as being cool. And Barack Obama was very cool to him. So he had to like Barack Young Obama. Young Barack Obama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm all for in. The worst part about this is that I can't even tweet anymore. I didn't really tweet that much beforehand. But now, anytime I log in, it's 50 more notifications from the past week. Pure hatred. Not to mention, X is still to this day using the character and retweeting shit with my actual face on it. Which, I wasn't. I haven't fucking mentioned 
like done anything with that Dickfield shit since he had that fucking meltdown because yeah. I felt bad. Right. Like I have numerous times in the past ten years that I've known Seth, <laughs> like feel felt bad when he says something moronic and shitty, <laughs> like specifically to elevate himself over people who hold the opinions that he had six months ago. Yeah, that's why it's yeah. so subject to ridicule. Yeah, because he's and doing it as an elitist. Right, he's he's a fucking elitist prick, and I'll like make fun of him for you know framing something in the context of here's me being better than somebody. And suddenly, as soon as, like, he gets called out on that behavior, he's like, I'm a victim. Everyone's hurting me. This guy is such an <laughs> asshole. It's completely unprovoked. And it's like, oh, was it provoked when you transcribed uh, two paragraphs of that guy's personal conversation in that coffee shop, you know, uh, <laughs> to show everyone how much you love the feminist But he didn't know that guy's actual name. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we, sure. I, mean, I understand what I'm doing. We truly are bullying him. What, uh, yeah, I am bullying him. <laughs> yeah, there's this no way bullying. around that. It's absolutely bullying. Yes. But it's also... So like, you know, I'm not wrong. (laughs) (laughs) That is the thing. If you are right, it doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Like, especially, you do not give a shit whatsoever. And that's why we go back to the good words of Roger Rabbit. Only if it's funny. Only if it's funny. Yeah. Which it is funny. And then he he closes Roger Rabbit broke Nick's brain. Yeah. He closes by saying, in other news, I'm back in school. I'm a college freshman. I love it. Other than that, all that Twitter shit, I can safely say, in general, life is good. So things are looking up for Seth. And I'm happy. I'm glad for him that he's in school. Because, I mean, honestly, <laughs> 15 years of stand-up comedy and you're still bombing at open Jesus mics. Jesus Christ. Nick. See, what? this is the Mullen special right <laughs> yeah, here. Did have After to, just shitting on him for something that you like semi... The seasoning on. That you semi had a point, right? Still mean... But you had a good... Then you just took the gratuitous <laughs> kick him while he's down <laughs> fucking thing. Yeah, congrats <laughs> on college, you fucking... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, anyway. he's making his life better. I'm, like, happy for him. Good, man. <laughs> I'm happy for him. You can see the expression on Nick's face, everyone. <clears throat> he's actually sucking Adam's dick right now. It's mm-hmm. weird. He's been yeah. talking with Adam's dick in his mouth the whole well, time. Well, and that's... The shitty part about all of it is, Ooh. like, Seth is such a fucking great character... And he doesn't understand what makes him funny, you know? Like, people, like, thought the Dickfield thing was funny because it's just Seth. <laughs> I mean, like he was just, a little heightened. Yeah. yeah. It's, <laughs> a, it's a version of Seth. It's, yeah. And if he could harness that, he could do great, you know? No, yeah. he can't. Yeah, he can't. He can't because he has no tr- say in it. That's why it's funny. Yeah. So that's just who he is. You know, and did it, and do it's not, and, like, it's not a bit. You know, the character is funny because it's a bit, because you're explaining not, and it's it's not only funny because of Seth. It's funny mm-hmm. because there are, yeah. especially with the election right now, a ton of people That's popping true, up yeah, yeah. that oh. are like you know woke self distraught, self described woke. You know, I yeah. am woke. Um, it's like I'm Mark sleeping. Ruffalo had some awful tweet. Where I saw it. Yo. What was it? Getting woke I, to the like, trans I'm experience. Getting woke to the trans experience. <laughs> Yikes. More like Mark Dick Dickafolo. Dickfolo, you want to start Mark, uh, Mark Dickfolo? Yeah. So, uh so Seth on that thread got into like an argument with some guy. Uh here. Uh somebody said That's the thing I love about all this is people just immediately start sending me screen caps of like all Anything. this shit. Um and so somebody commented You've infiltrated his Facebook, dude. Yeah. So I don't ask people to send me this shit. Like fucking immediately people start texting me and yeah, sending yeah. it to me. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. This wow, Nick, it's just so accidental. What do you mean it's so accidental? How would I know? You block me on everything. <laughs> There's no reason. I have, like, four different people that'll, like, you know, text me when he's going off. Says back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he goes, uh, so this this guy that commented on that, and he's like, what he's saying is that he's not really back on Facebook to bellyache yet again. Can't you tell? I'm not trying to be a jerk here, Seth. But we only knew each other briefly in high school. Oh, and man. I don't really know you that well. I just have to say you seem to get a joy out of complaining whenever you're on <laughs> Facebook about anyone who doesn't lean 100% left in their thinking. You make me want to check out this Nick Mullen guy's spoof of you at this point. <laughs> Again, not trying to be mean, but you're kind of pushy with your opinions. After saying that, if you feel like unfriending me, then so be it. And so Seth screen capped that and then posted it as another status. And uh, Oh, guys, instead of just commenting back. Well, on the status, he writes, uh, TFW, you know, that face when, you not trying to be a jerk, but you nailing it, though. So it's like, hey, 
So now you're using uh, that's a meme, AAVE. Dude. So you now you're going you're, full Wardell. Yeah, He's yeah. You gotta, be, you gotta be black when you own the guy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then that uh, Seth eventually did uh, block that guy. Jesus. And uh, then that guy messaged me, and he goes, uh, you don't know me, but I went to high school with Seth Cockfield, and he just unfriended me because I called him out on some of his whiny, pushy, leftist <laughs> bullshit. Where can I check out this character you created about him? I would love a good laugh over this. This is incredible. <laughs> Seth is getting us <laughs> listeners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've never seen some. He's Dude, like, that's a hilarious. Getting owned by just a guy who barely knew you, and yeah. he's like, "Look, man, For like we don't year. really know each other. <laughs> I'm the closest to an objective observer here, yeah, and yeah. I gotta say." And he was even kind of like, "Well, let's talk about it." Yeah, yeah. And what's funny is Seth was even like, "I'm happy to talk about <laughs> my. I'm happy to talk about my tweet with you, but not about your uh, fucking objections to how I'm behaving. I won't talk about yeah, that." Yeah, yeah. No, Seth is just like Damn. constantly stepping on rakes and having them smash in his face. It was pretty fun. That was really good. Oh yeah, yeah I mean, it's just it's too fucking funny. It's too perfect. And I know, like, uh, you guys are probably uncomfortable with you know having to bring that up, but like, look, that this is it. I'm never gonna fucking mention him again, Seth. Like, I'm sure somebody will tell you about this. Like, it's done. I wouldn't have said anything if you hadn't posted nine paragraphs about it. <laughs> and uh, yeah. It's like I mean, Seth also has to know you. He knows you. He's known you for ten years. He had to know that that's like definitely gonna get your peak your interest. I mean, the him, guy like, messaging him was so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. even if no one was like keeping you keeping tabs. Yeah. On this for you, just one of his like friends <laughs> blocking him, messaging you is hilarious. Yeah. I mean, it's gotta suck. Somebody fucking making fun of you, and you can't control the uh, you know. Any of the narrative around it, I would be pissed off if somebody had like. But you know, I also I think it would I think it would have been funny if somebody like did a fucking yeah. character based on me and nailed looking, it so well. And yeah, and they did it. I'd be like, all right, you know. I did a character based on you once. What was the name? Uh, Dick. Uh, Mullen. I have a really good character. Mullen. Yeah, it's called. Yeah, um, Mullen, dude, no, no, dude, it's oh, called, here's the thing. We shit on Wardell all the time. Wardell, yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. He's our friend, and you but know what? Honestly, he's actually. Friend. I was friends with Seth. Me and him used to hang out, but he would. He, you'd hang out with him. He would constantly talk shit on people. And then as soon as he found out anyone was criticizing him in any way, shape, or form, he'd have a fucking meltdown. Like a literal yeah. meltdown. Storming I'm, out and shit. It was so, probably funny. Whatever. I don't care. Guys, you really stepped on my really good character. Oh, what's your character? It's called Gay Christopher Walken. Do it. I'm gay. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Thank you. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. Gay. I'll be you like, know, ah. the Sicilians are the best <laughs> liars. <laughs> uh, too Two, two mice. Yeah. Two, two men. Can I offer fall you into a vat of cream? <laughs> two men, and they fuck each other, <laughs> and it gay. becomes but I've had this pleasurable gold watch shoved up my ass <laughs> until I come. <laughs> Your father forgot. Oh, now I'm just doing a Jewish guy. Yeah. Your Whatever. father forgot it in my. That ass. is a hard character. That's like the next level with impressions. Like if you can do an Turn impression, but then like, you know, so like. You know, everybody loves Robert De Niro, but one of me was deaf. <laughs> do deaf Robert De Niro. <laughs> hey, just me. fusing two hey. ham-fisted ass <laughs> <laughs> stereotypes. Just two yeah. ham-fisted stereotypes. Deaf Robert De Niro. <laughs> <laughs> you, you talking to me? I really I can't hear I you. Can't. So you're going to have to I explain don't. if you're talking to me or I not. I can't tell. I'm even more me. deaf Robert De Niro. Seriously, are you talking to me? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Siri, Siri, <laughs> yeah, or like, uh, ooh, ooh, it's me, Robin Williams, but I'm uh, still alive. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm dead. I don't know. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I have so much hair on my knuckles. <laughs> 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 oh, have you seen that dude's body hair, Robert, Mar Robin Williams? Yeah, insane. That's why he killed himself. Yeah, it's true. Because he was uh, the nair bills were getting too high. Yeah, yeah. he's just wearing. A sweater just all year long. <laughs> um. so.